back here with another video of course so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i box braid my hair i mean this is my first time doing it but i mean i'm gonna give it a go and see how it works i already washed it and stuff so we're just gonna get right into the process to do it sideways okay guys so as you can see i just parted my hair and it definitely looks trash but we're still going to you know work through it so basically i just did a little box little braid part you know because i'm doing box braids right so i mean what else would i be doing um but yeah i'm gonna try and do the rubber band method um my friend she did my hair before and she used that and told me that it was easier way to do box braids in your hair so i thought i'd just try it out so the little stuff like the grease that i'm putting in my hair is uh sulfur eight i mean y'all should see it it's, it's yellow you know i showed it before but i'm basically putting that in my hair because i mean it's really good it's the medicated kind and i definitely get you know snow falling dandruff in my hair so that's that really helps it out so my hair is not as dry so basically i'm just um trying to grip the hair with the rubber band i mean put the rubber band around my hair that i gripped i guess i don't know i said that kind of weird but yeah and it was kind of a little weird at first because when you try and do it little pieces of the other hair getting into it so then you have to like push it apart and all this to make it straight but i basically got it like that and so this is my head with all my parts all the rubber bands everywhere because i was going to do it one at a time and then do one and then braid one but then i just decided might as well do all of it so i don't have to do all that and you can just so i know what parts to do you know so it looks good and actually my hair looks kind of cute like this i mean i don't know i'm looking at it like okay girl you did your little parts some of them a little wonky but they still look pretty good like okay honey so um after we did the little parts thing i just got my little scrunchie it's hard to tell that i already had the parts still in there at this part but i just put my hair in a scrunchie that was already in parts so i could get the parted part that i'm gonna put my braid on in the braid so i basically did the little style thing that um, people do where you get your piece of hair that you want and then you split into then you overlap and so it makes like a little knotty kind of looking shape I know people are doing knotless nowadays, but I mean, this is the only way that I could think of doing it. So yeah, so I take my hair and the fake hair and I use my hair as one of the strands and I just go back and forth to get the braid shape, right? And I just keep going down and down. And then when I, um, when I, my natural hair runs out, well, not runs out, but like when my, the length is because my length isn't as long as the fake hair. So when it's um, about done, then I just take the thicker piece of the fake hair that's in the two. And I take a piece of that and I mix that in with my natural hair so that I can continue the braid. I mean, I don't know if this is the neatest thing, but I mean, it worked out for me. So, I mean, I got my little braid going and, you know, I did what I had to do. But, oh my goodness, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Like, okay, I don't know. I am a little lazy person sometimes, right? So, like, I was doing this, and my knuckles, after I got, like, halfway, I don't know why, but my knuckles was hurting. I guess the position I had my hand in when I was braiding it. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just yeah just yeah that's all i could say they just were in pain and i don't know i was doing this and i was braiding it and i think it turned out pretty well like my hair at the top for my first time it doesn't look like too messy and you know i got a little rhythm going down but i mean that's what happens when you get your hair done a lot and you pay attention to what people are doing to your hair or you got a sister or whoever you got to do your hair and you just be watching them do it so you can figure out how to do it. I mean, I didn't really watch a whole lot of videos. I think I watched like two, three videos on how to do this so I could see different styles. Because the first time, like this is my first time doing it on myself. Like braiding, doing box braids on myself. But like I actually tried to do box braids on my sister before. I mean, I was just playing around. She had some extra weave, like, um, braiding hair laying around, and I just put it in her head. 
but I I did it without the 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 rubber band, so I was a little nervous if using the rubber band would mess it up because when I did it on her, I didn't use the rubber band. But I mean, the rubber band method was really easy to do. I mean, it does make the process take a lot longer than I think it should because of the amount of time it takes to part your hair and then put the rubber band in and all that kind of stuff. Also, before I um actually started braiding my hair, I deep conditioned my hair because I know that I'm going to keep this in for a while. And oh my goodness, I tried to do a little avocado hair mask, but I mixed it with the deep conditioner and there was just avocado chunks stuck in my head. I I washed my hair like I did it the first time and I was like, okay. And then I got the shower and I saw the chunk. So I got back in and I washed my hair again. And I did that like three times because the freaking avocado was stuck in my hair. And when I come back to braid my hair and I look and my boyfriend is like, what is that stuff in your hair? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally was trying so hard to get it out. Like, ugh, it was just getting on my nerves. But anyway, yeah, I finally got it. So um, in this part, you basically see you see the towel around my hair. That's because um, after, you know, when you're in the hair salon or something, you just see the ladies, they got the scissors and stuff. So then I just cut off the little ends of my hair and the little frilly, the fuzzy little, you know, the piece that be sticking out that I cut that out. Right. And then I um, I just boiled the ends of my hair, you know, so it stays together nice good all that and i just got a towel to dry it so it wouldn't be dripping then you know how to make it look nice and saucy you know so my boyfriend put that little oil in my hair make sure it's all good even though there was grease in it you got the little length down my back you know looking fresh looking fly your girl should pop it for my first time doing it, i think i did pretty good so thanks you guys for watching this video you know peace out